Hi everybody. So today's topic is going to be on comparison. Um, this was a big one this last week. It kept coming up in some of my sessions with um, personal training clients and with my groups. So I knew it was something I definitely wanted to discuss. Um, this whole idea of comparing ourselves to other people and also comparing ourselves to old versions of ourselves. Um, sometimes I think we can get caught up in, hey, I used to be a size 2, or I used to be able to eat whatever I wanted, or hey, when I was in high school, I used to be, you know, so fit. And So you're comparing yourself to old versions of yourself. You could even be comparing yourself to newer versions of yourself. These, these versions of ourselves that we've created in our mind, and then feeling really hopeless and feeling really bad about where we are in the present. I think it definitely keeps us stuck, keeps us stuck in the same patterns and feeling hopeless. And then here we are in this world of Facebook and social media and Instagram and Twitter and all of these things. And then, we, then we're comparing ourselves to, to the people who are posting. And I think sometimes, I mean, not oftentimes do you have people post, hey, I had an anxiety attack last night. I feel crappy about myself today. You know, for the most part, it's, hey, look at this, what I got, or you know, really happy things or the best versions of themselves, I should say, or the versions of themselves that they want to put out there. So oftentimes we're comparing our insides to people's outsides. And when we do that, we're just going to be stuck in the same pattern of feeling bad. And I think um, that's what we have to remember. And we have to also remember, I think, that everybody gets a piece of the pie. So just because somebody else has something doesn't mean that you can't have it too. Not only does it not mean that you can't have it, it actually makes it so that maybe you can have a better opportunity to have it. I know like maybe your best friend just got a really great new job or um, your friend just got a great new pair of shoes or she lost some weight, he or she lost some weight or something like that. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't have those things. Maybe not right now at this moment, but it doesn't mean that you can't have that. And I think sometimes we get caught up in that as if someone else gets something or someone else has something that we want and then that takes it away from us. So that's just something to keep in mind. I always try to keep that in mind when when I find myself comparing myself to other people. Um, and realizing that, again, we're judging somebody's outsides or our insides by somebody's outsides. So we don't really know what's going on with them. We don't know if they're having a bad day because we're just staring at what a great you know, outfit they have on or what a great purse they have or you know, um, how fit they look or something like that. We're comparing all of that stuff to kind of maybe we're having a crappy day or something like that. So just something to think about. Um, when we get stuck in that pattern, I think we're not trusting our own intuition. We're not being guided by faith. We're not, um, we're not really being in the present moment. And we're, when we're in the present moment, that's when great things can take place. When we're living in the past, we're pushing ourselves into the present we're never we're never really here we're never really authentic and we can't really make things happen from those two spaces so it's important to remember that and um we all do it very human nature to compare ourselves to other people but hopefully you know those couple tips of just kind of reminding yourself and and so that you don't stay stuck and realizing that everybody gets a piece of the pie and not to judge our insides by somebody's others other person's outsides and realizing that this phenomenon of social media sometimes isn't always truthful. So just keep those things in your mind as you're kind of going through your day and, and things come up for you. Anyway, I hope that helps a little bit and I hope you guys are having a great day. See you soon. Bye.